In this video, we'll discuss the Windows sidebar. A new feature in Windows Vista is the sidebar, which is an area of your desktop that contains gadgets so you can get information more quickly on your desktop instead of searching around for them. The sidebar sits on the right side of your desktop by default and displays three gadgets by default. An analog clock that displays the current time. A slideshow of pictures from the Windows Picture Gallery. The picture changes every 15 seconds. Headlines from the web, though you have to set up this feature to scour the websites you frequent have RSS, or really simple syndication feeds, so you can get the latest news on your desktop. The sidebar contains a shadow at the right side of the sidebar, so you know the sidebar is active, and controls appear at the top of the sidebar. When you move the mouse pointer over the sidebar, the sidebar becomes active and displays a white transparent background. You can manipulate the sidebar by right-clicking on a blank area in the sidebar. View the sidebar properties by clicking Properties in the menu. The Properties menu lets you determine if you want to start the sidebar when Windows starts, the checkbox is selected by default, and if you want the sidebar on top of other windows, meaning that the sidebar will be visible when you open other windows. You can also determine if you want the sidebar on the right side, which is the default, or the left side. Close the Properties window by clicking the Cancel button. You can close the sidebar by right-clicking the sidebar and then clicking Close Sidebar. If you want the sidebar to reappear, you can click the Sidebar button in the Notification area, restart your computer, or you can open the Control Panel from the Start menu, click the Appearance and Personalization link in the menu, and then click Windows Sidebar Properties to open the Sidebar Properties menu. You'll learn more about opening the control panel in Chapter 3.